food. One of life's greatest pleasures has always been and will continue to be a significant aspect to American culture. The culinary arts in the 21st century has become an art form of self-expression for the advanced chef, the novice, and all skill levels between the two. The progression of the culinary arts shows how the American dream has evolved over time. The Roaring Twenties completely transformed American culture. With the advanced techniques of mass production, food became available in large varieties. The modern chef was free to experiment with different products. Manufacturers often suggested recipes their products could be used to make. In 1923, the Kellogg Cereal Company collaborated with the Marshmallow Company to promote a crispy candy that could be made by anyone and enjoyed by television watchers, bridgers, trick-or-treaters, teenage daters, bedtime nibblers, and even lunchbox carriers. They claimed that making this crispy candy was all the fun without the fuss. This crispy candy cereal advertisement is the epitome of the American dream in the 1920s. The American dream of the 1920s was to live a life of leisure. Fun without the fuss was exactly how all people, old and young, wanted to cook and live their lives. As the post-war economy of the United States was booming, American interest in the culinary arts flourished. James Beard, known as the father of American cuisine, played a major role furthering culinary interest through his hit cooking show, I Love to Eat. He was responsible for engineering the classic American dish called macaroni and cheese. He published this renowned recipe in his first cookbook. Beard's recipe for macaroni and cheese contributed to the identity of American cuisine. The American dream of the 1940s was to have a successful life with a nuclear family and a house in the suburbs with the classic white picket fence. Beard's recipe for macaroni and cheese is essentially the same as the recipe for the American dream. The American dream is to have a successful life and the point of Beard's recipe is to make a successful dish. In order to reach success, one needs a base to hold the entire recipe or an entire family together. The base of the dish would be the macaroni, while the base of the American dream would be to have a suburban house. The home is where all the memories reside and all the experience occur. Next, for a successful dish, one must have a glue to hold the dish together, and for a successful family, one must hold, have glue to hold the family together. The glue of the dish would be the milk, butter, and flour while the glue holding the family together would be the parents. The butter must be melted at a perfect temperature in order for the milk and flour to become one, likewise for the parents. They must have a strong relationship so they could do their job and hold their family together. For a flavorful life and recipe, one must have a flavoring agent. Cheese, Tabasco, and dry mustard are great flavoring agents and essential for a successful macaroni and cheese. These flavoring agents in the family would be the children. Children are known for adding joy and heat to one's life. Lastly, the breadcrumbs on top of the macaroni and cheese makes the dish irresistible to eat. The breadcrumbs of the American dream would be the classic white picket fence. James Beard recipe for the classic macaroni and cheese is also the recipe for a classic American dream. The 1960s was an innovative period for the culinary arts in America and a revolutionary period for civil rights. African Americans, women, and additional minorities such as Asians and homosexuals fought for their civil rights in the 1960s. Julia Child taught Americans the art of French cooking through her television show, The French Chef, and generated great popularity. She was featured on the cover of Time magazine in November 1966. She was an inspiration to all of her viewers. When she beat egg whites with wire whisk, her followers bought out every wire whisk in town. The American dream of the 1960s was to live in a free and open-minded community. Julia Child fought for this American dream by overcoming discrimination by fellow cooking students. It was not common for women to study the culinary arts for a professional job. Despite this discrimination she faced while studying the art of French cooking, Child managed to become one of the world's top ch chefs and publish over 100 cookbooks. Child was the culinary epitome of the American dream of freedom for all. Food in the 21st century is significant because it contributes to the development of modern American culture. America is considered to be the melting pot of the world, where people of different racial backgrounds and cultures coexist. With the different cultures coexisting in one region, America has taken elements from each culture and created its own combination of these cultures. The same process has occurred with food. The original dish, macaroni and cheese, is the epitome of the American dream in the 21st century because it fuses two completely different cultures, Mexican and American, 
and allows them to coexist in flavorful harmony. The American dream of the 21st century is to have peaceful coexistence in a world without wars or hunger, and its evolution through history is evident through the progression of the culinary arts.